Hey everyone and welcome back to another video. So today, aside from Roblox and all of those content, we will be doing something a little different. Today, we are going to, to show how Kamala Harris can win the presidential election. Now, polls are tight, so it could be, this This is possibly uh, one of the most tightest race, races since um, 2000, since the 2000 election, so it's going to be a pretty tight one. So we're going to pretty much start off with here. But before we start off, make sure to like and subscribe for more. Okay, so what Kamala Harris must do is focus on the most important states. Screw Florida, throw it out in the trash. Screw Texas, throw it out in the trash. Screw Ohio, trying to win off, throw it in the trash as well. Focus on the most important states. And the most important states are probably the most, are the Rust Belt states, which is Wisconsin, Michigan. Harris, in order to win, must, and must invest more campaigning and more fundraising in the most important states, which are Wisconsin, Michigan, and Pennsylvania. Those will give her, those, will, those states will give her the massive win that she needs. So let's say Kamala Harris will need to will need to excite and get the auto workers vote out in order to win the state of Michigan and also get a massive high turnout in Detroit, which could help her even more. With that, she can win Michigan by at least we could say two to three points, which will give her an edge over here. She will be at 240. Now we'll go we'll go a little south in Georgia. Georgia, I personally don't believe Kamala Harris can pull it off like Joe Biden did. That was because, because Kamala, Joe Biden had a massive advantage, advantage due to a high turnout in the state. How, can she make it close? Yes, but I, I honestly do not see it being blue. And if it were to go red, this could be the last time it happens. So I think focusing on Georgia won't be so beneficial as it would be in North Carolina. So Georgia is going to go red here. But... For North Carolina, if Kamala Harris wants to see a victory in the, in the state of North Carolina, she would need to invest to campaign heavily in the city in the cities of Charlottesville, of Charlotte. I'm sorry, Char Charlotte, um, Ash Asheville, and many of many of the other cities that will give her the edge. Can Kamala Harris win North Carolina? Yes, I believe it's possible. I believe if she excites more voters than Joe Biden did, I believe she can pull it off. And I believe she can if she invests a lot of time. North Carolina is very possible and it will be one of the most important states within this election. One of the next important states will be Arizona. And Arizona could go either way this election. Honestly, with the growing population of Maricopa County and the whole state at all, the rural county, the rural parts of the state are going with Trump. But if Kamala Harris invests a lot of time campaigning in Maricopa County, Phoenix, and all the most liberal cities of the state, get a high turnout, and I believe she could pull it off successfully by at least two to three points. Honestly, I believe she can do this if she works hard, she works her potential, and wins successfully. Then the next one you have is Nevada. Nevada. Is, is, to be honest, Nevada, you could say Nevada is more of a red state than Arizona is as of 2024. Now, could it go blue again? Yes. Could it go even more higher than before? Yes. I do believe Kamala Harris can pull it off if she gets a great turnout in Las Vegas. So I could put this as lean as well. Maybe if she, if depending how good things good go well, I believe it could be by at least three points. That's my prediction. Next up. We're going to focus on Wisconsin. Wisconsin is another battleground state. While Wisconsin has had mixed mixed appearances, I do believe the polls somewhat overestimate Democrats a lot. And most likely Kamala Harris. Is it winnable for Kamala Harris? Yes, of course it is. Do I believe it will be an Obama-type landslide in the state? No. It's going to be competitive. If she wants to win the state of Wisconsin, she needs to get... She needs to get a, a, somewhat a good margin of the rural vote and also a very high turnout in the city of Milwaukee. If she can win, if she can, if she would like to win this, she needs to invest a lot of time and, and campaign so much in the state of Wisconsin. Now, what is my margin? My margin, I believe, could be a lean margin. I believe she could win it possibly if she campaigns very hard by at least two to three points, just like well, just like Arizona a little bit or Nevada. But I do believe, because uh, out of all this, out of all the Rust Belt states, Wisconsin, PA are the most are the most 
hardest, little trickiest to win, but I do believe she can win it. And finally, we have Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania is a, a crucial state. It is the, probably, the, probably you could say the most toss-up state in this, country, in this country. Because you have Philadelphia, which will go with Fort Kamala Harris, but you also have the rural voters and the farmers over here, which are going to pretty much either go Kamala Harris or Trump. You have to consider the fact that the rural vote on Trump, when Trump is president, and when Trump runs, comes very high than in statewide elections. So honestly, I can't rank this yet, considering the fact that this one is a massive toss-up. If Josh Sharpeville was the VP choice, I would have chosen. I would have put in this as like a tilt or lean, but honestly, I can't decide how this will go personally. This will be the biggest toss-up in the state, in this country, and honestly, it can go either way, depending how it goes. But other than that, if Kamala Harris invests a lot in North Carolina, the Rust Belt, and and Arizona and Nevada, I believe she can pull off this election and possibly in Atlanta, like who knows? And even maybe she can win Georgia, but I do believe at the end Trump will carry Georgia by a, a tilt margin and probably the last time any any Republican can carry Georgia. So yeah, this is my prediction for the 2024 election. Well, it's not my my big prediction, just to see how how much can Kamala win. Could it be a landslide? Maybe. But we as time we'll gotta see as time will go. So yeah. If you enjoy this, let me know in the comments down below what you think I could have done differently. And yeah, make sure to like and subscribe for more. I'll see you next time. Peace.